back, everyone. Whoa. You, uh, want to go? Go straight to hell. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone, to uh, another episode of a horror of the fumbling my fucking wall. Words. Welcome back to another episode of Horizon Zero Dawn. Jesus Christ, I need to stop doing that. My family let's might place. still be alive, and you're going to stand here and do nothing? We've lost a dozen patrols beyond the valley. Our orders are clear. No. Okay, I'm almost there. We're chasing down for none. No attacks and no girl and leaves. Oh no. Get back here. Wow, this bastard runs fast for being back. Let me in! My fire! Oh, Fernand. Our deal is off. Oh, it's you. How about a new deal? You could just cut off my finger, or my hand, or my left arm, but that's my final offer. That won't be it. <laughs> How about we cut off? Operator, get ready for dramatic effect. Your dick. <laughs> Tempting, but I want you to spread the word to all your crooked friends. Me and my spear are off limits from now on. I can do that. What? What should I tell them? Tell them how you barely escaped with your life. Get creative. You're good at that. I don't want to have to come find you again. Understood. You won't hear from any of us ever again. I'd better not. Oh, come on. I wanted to chop his dick off. <laughs> how else is someone supposed to learn their lesson? What are you two waiting on? Fairest prices for machine parts under the Mesa. No tithes to the Sun Court. Not like those greedy snarls upside. She's not interested in taxes. I know what she's not interested in. As I was saying, no better offer for snap ball lenses. I'd give my oath on it. By the sun, don't start spitting in your palm. Huntress, I apologize on behalf of my partner. Silent partner. Silent partner? If the sun would only grant my prayers. Never mind snap more lenses, Huntress. There's no market for those. A long leg lens, though, you'd be well rewarded for. Um. So... Which one do you want? I mean... Hmm, let's think about this. Operator, to go ahead and cue the music again. I have... A cretin dick in my hand if you want it. So which... Uh... No market for a snap maw lens, it's good strong stuff. You can hammer it into anything. Where do you think we are? Some trading post with sawdust on the floor? This is Meridian. We have culture. I know culture. Just the other day I was watching the hunting trials. Oh, great sun, lend me the strength of midday. The sun's baked your head if you think we'll shift long leg lenses at a time like this. Hey, though, I look so confused. Uh. Hello? I've told you as many times as the <laughs> spire is tall, craft and artisanship is who we are. Craft doesn't win a war or keep the machines from your farms. What you need is good, old-fashioned, plain... Oh, yes. Old-fashioned, plain, hammered work. If ever something glittered, you'd throw it back. If Karja had built that elevator, they would have stopped at a good-looking shaft. All those years of delving, and you never found a sense of humor. Enough! 
Cue the music again. <laughs> Enough. Well, they're a blunt people, the Nora. Why do you two even work together if you can't agree on anything? <sighs> it's a symbolic gesture. No tithes to the Sun Court. Like I said in the beginning, Renine. Just... Just tell me which part you want. A long leg lens. A snap my lens. Fine. You get both. I can see that you're busy. Wait, wait. You drove her off. Snap my lens. What do you say? I drove her off? <laughs> That's rich. Listen, Huntress. Long leg lens. Fucking give them both, Aloy. Won't cost you a shark. Scroungers? What kind of brutes are you trying to attract? I have both, don't I? Thunder Jaw, Stormbird, Trampler, Grim. <gasps> Real talk. Ravager, Behemoth, Bellabeck, Snapmar. I have a Snapmar. I have a long leg. I have fucking both. You'll both be happy. I brought you both the parts. So, what do you say? I don't suppose I could buy just the one. You'd buy the wrong one. So give the hunter her shards for both. Of course, of course. Here you are. If this is the price I have to pay. The price you have to pay? The snap -maw lens might just cover the loss we take on the other. It won't sell for a loss, charcoal burner. If this you is the price I have to pay. Lens, if you have an imagination. <laughs> I have an imagination. When you rattle that piece of junk around, I think oh, of your My skull. eyes are stinging. From the beginning, this wouldn't be a scrap dealing operation. That we would have to I feel like I need to. Uh, a true metal seller, no I feel like I need to take a dirty. break. Maybe. Hm. Get some uh, eye my drops feet. in my eyes. Who wears a silk apron to the metal market? Note to self papes, do. don't. Uh, don't stare at a telly screen for nine hours plus pushing long gaming and editing sessions. You'll, uh, you'll dry your eyes out and then you'll be really buggered. Why, hello, buddy. Tell me what happened to your family. Maybe I can help. By the sun, I fear they are all dead by now. I barely escaped alive. Machines. Vicious machines attacked my family's estate. Father sent me to get help. What kind of machines? What kind of machines? Where did they come from? A ravager. By the sun, how it cut down those guards, and a pack of watchers came with it. The Sun King warned us that he could no longer protect freeholds beyond the valley, but well, Father never saw this coming. Tell me more about the estate. My father owns a dozen quarries, and he's put his spoils into the estate. Fine tapestries, custom woodwork, silver fixtures. But what about the people there? Of course. Their lives are all that matter. My father and sister, plus a dozen guards and servants. I hope they survive. I'll go check it out for you, Mike. I'll see what I can do about the estate. You will? Oh, thank you. Oh, please. Be careful. Those machines are deadly. They're no match for me. <laughs> uh, is it on Meridian? Question mark. Well, let's get to it. Take a look at these wares. I'm all cost you a shard just to look. Let me go quick save first. Come take a You'll like what I have for sale, I promise. You know, that's uh, that's the one thing Gorilla Games can improve on. Get just a mini map of the whole area. So that we can tell precisely where we're going. Or just highlight the road, highlight something, show us our highlight. That we're going the right way. 
because just like in my first playthrough, I'm getting lost. And the lost is never a good thing. Just like the uh, just like the tele show. Lost ran for what eleven seasons. And there was way too much back and forth. Like, th the way I mean that is there was flashbacks and then I think flash forwards and you had to pay attention in each and every episode. Otherwise you would miss, uh, you would miss certain details. And you would then be lost in the next episode, and you would have to go back and rewatch the previous episode. And if you missed something or something didn't make sense from that episode, you had to watch the previous episode. <laughs> oh, and I hated it. So, uh, for later. yeah, if you want to, uh, if, if you want to lose, like, I don't know, a month or two of your life, watch the series Lost. <laughs> I can't say it's good, but I can't really punch it down that hard either. This is outrageous. We're loyal citizens. Out of the way, peeps. What's going on here? Poland's in there. He's somewhere. And so is Aaron. That other outlander I talked to the night before the proving. Aaron said he'd introduce me to his sister if I visited Meridian. Said she was captain of the Vanguard. The city's locked down. The city is locked down. Oh no. Stop right there. In light of the recent attack, no stranger passes into Meridian without submitting to search. Recent attack? What are you talking about? The murder of Captain Ursa and her vanguards, of course. Ambushed by Shadow Carja forces in Redridge Pass. Ursa? You mean Erend's sister is dead? How would you know his name? I know Erend. Summon him. I need to speak to him. Ha. Huh. I doubt that Erend, the new captain of the vanguard, a man in grief is going to waste his time on a grimy outlander. Aloy, hey, you're alive. I thought you were dead. Make way, make way. All the way to Meridian just to see me. Have you been drinking? Ah, not really. A little. So you're alive. This uh, we should celebrate. It drinks on me. We need to talk alone, and you need to pull it together. Over there. So you approve. Of course I approve. From now on, she may come and go from this city as she pleases. As you wish, sir. There. Alone as you asked. <laughs> what did you want to tell me? Yeah, we are clearly alone. I heard what happened to Ursa. I'm sorry. I know she was special to you. Special to me? <laughs> special to everyone. She always knew what to do. She bossed everyone around. She kept me in line. But now I'm supposed to fill her shoes. And instead, here I am, stumbling around in them. Stop feeling sorry for yourself. I, uh... I lost someone, too. At the Proving, the man who raised me. His name was Rost. That's terrible. But why is it every time something terrible happens, everyone else tells you the worst thing that ever happened to them, as though that makes it easier? Yeah, why is that? Anyway, th there was something you wanted to tell me? Yeah, you need to pull yourself together. <laughs> A lot has happened since we last spoke. The proving was... Attacked by a group of killers. Not many of us survived. We were in the village when we heard explosions up on the mountain. I 
Some of your braves came back, said most of the contestants were dead. I've never heard such a wail of grief as the sound that rose up from your people. How did you survive? How I survived is less important than how I was targeted. targeted? How did I survive? I was fucking rolled off that cliff by my dad. What are you talking about? That doesn't make sense. <coughs> what, what are we talking about? I need to find Olin. I need to know what he knows. But he's a friend. No, he's a traitor. I don't know who the killers are or what they want, but I do know that Olin is working with them. But, I mean, this... I don't need you to understand, Aaron. I just need you to take me to him. He's not here. He went scrounging for scrap and relics days ago. It could be anywhere. Are there any places he frequents, places he returns to? A house here in Meridian. Okay, then take me there. I need to search it. I guess. As long as I'm there to witness the search. I I can approve of that. I need sure. to see Olin's place. Now. Okay, okay. Come on. Lots of hell, there are a lot of guards here. So many people here all talking at once. How does anyone think? I don't. I just drift. Is she in there? Apparently they're letting anyone into the city these days. Year. Why does he spare those who enslaved and tortured and butchered? Aaron, you should want vengeance more than anyone. Your own sister, murdered, and her death, unavenged? One more word, you scorched out slag, and I'll throw you in jail myself. Now get out of here, or I'll give you all a kick in the ass. <laughs> oh, snap. What did he mean about Ursa's murder? Not now. You want to talk about it, buddy? An Osaram and a Nora girl walking hand in hand. Okay, how are we going to get in? <laughs> oh, that was... Subtle. Here we are. <laughs> Try not to break anything. Yeah. Other than the door. All of this for one man. It pays to have connections in the Sun King's court. It looks like a picture of Olin's. It looks like a picture of Olin's family. The corner of this rug is frayed, and the floor near it is worn. Let's see what's underneath. Hey, how did that get here? <laughs> the is how to get through it. Without a key, you won't. That's a vault hatch of Azaram make. Nothing gets through. We'll see about that. So, we gotta find a key now. Call it a day, girl. We're wasting time. Shut up, Aaron. Time, you're wasting time being a fucking bum and not helping out with the uh, investigation. Whoa, okay. Aha! Looks big and heavy. Could do. Let's give it a little push.
I did say not to break anything, didn't I? Took his wife and child captive. They? Who's they? The killers. They told him to obey or they'd kill his family. So, what else is down here? Looks like Olin kept a journal. Olin? I knew he could read contracts, but I never took him for a poet. No doubt now. Olin knew I was targeted. A map. The glyphs show places he visited. Examine it further. There's your proof. Read the last page. He writes about meeting me and the order to kill me. He called himself a friend. That backstabbing cheat. How did you learn to read glyphs? And these things that you see, how do you do it? I should be going. <laughs> the focus. It reveals the unseen. And Olin's focus, it's the same? The device is the same, but somehow Olin and the killers can speak to each other with their focuses over distances and see through each other's focuses too, like looking through each other's eyes. So that's how the killers saw you, through Olin? Yes, so far as I can tell. Now we should be going. Now that I know where to find Olin, I should be on my way. All by yourself? Leave it to me. I'm faster on my own. Wait. If that device lets you see the unseen... Out of the way, Erend. I'm asking you to help me, Aloy. I need to know who killed Ursa. Not just the, the Shadow Karja army, I know that. But the exact soldiers who did it. I'm sorry about your sister, but that's your war, not mine. Don't act like this isn't personal. Came here hunting the people who nearly killed you, who massacred your people. Why should you have justice and not me? Look, I'll head for Red Ridge Pass, where Ursa's body was found, and wait for you there. A few minutes of your focus is all I need. <coughs> Don't make me beg. Red Ridge Pass, you said. I'll see what I can do. I don't know. I kind of want to hear Aaron beg. That's uh, that, that's the sadist in me coming out. Okay, where do we? Wow, there are a lot of quests around here. This place well past your smells shopping. like nothing I've ever smelled before. We'll Is that some Another kind of space? You there! Can you help me? Can you spare a moment? Someone robbed my house! Oh, did they know? You're the one the Vanguard has been crowing about. The Nora who tracks criminals and traitors with her second sight. If only you'd use it to help me. A thief raided my home and took my brother's sword. Why would they take a sword? Why would someone steal the sword? It's priceless. Made from the burnished antler of a lancehorn, finely inlaid with studded stones all down the... Uh, okay, I get it. Forgive me. That's not even why it's important. The Twelfth Sun King gave it to my brother for his military service. He was killed in battle during the liberation. I was saving it for my nephew who stranded at Sunfall with the Karja in shadow. How did your nephew wind up in Sunfall? 
Most of the old clergy backed the Mad Sun King, so when he fell, they ran out of fear of retribution. As an honor guard to a venerable priest, my nephew had no choice but to go with them. Now that my brother is gone, my nephew is my heir, so that sword really belongs to him. And after all he's been through, I won't be able to look him in the face if I don't get it back. Tell me about the robbery. Don't leave anything out. It was brazen and professional. They took only the sword, my most valuable possession. The thief went out through the window and scared the shadow off my steward. Otherwise, it would have been a clean getaway. Really? I'll see what I can do about the robbery. Have a word with my steward if you need to. He saw the thief escape. And listen, all I want is the sword back. Meridian, and my family for that matter, has seen enough strife already. If I can get it back, all is forgiven. No retribution necessary. You got it, buddy. What am I, uh... What, where, where am I supposed to go? Right here? The thief broke the lattice on the way out. Times the drops of blood away. Oh, the thief injured it. Wow, that is a lot of blood. That is not a drops of blood. That is like actual globs. Like he stood for at least a few seconds. I would know because I <laughs> I have bled for that much amount, and I was just panicked. Not recently, mind you. This is uh, th th this was many years ago. Found any Banuk relics in the wilds, Outlander? Did someone run past here, holding a sword? Sure did. He grabbed some linen off the stand here and took off down the stairs behind you. He was bleeding, so maybe he needed a binding. Blast it! That was expensive cloth. I can't believe I paid for that thief's bandage. Okay, so he ran down this way, it would seem. I don't think we'll be able to track him. They said he ran down this way. If the thief came this way, there's only one way he could have gone. Forward. No sign of the thief. Someone must have seen him go by. Did you see anyone run through here? He would have been holding a sword. Yeah, almost crashed into me too. He ran down the parapet here and went down the lift. No way he'll catch him now. I didn't see a sword though. He wasn't carrying anything. Not a damn thing. Just ran like his ass was on fire. The thief must have ditched the sword. But where? Maybe he had help. That merchant stall would have been a convenient drop off. Good question. Where did he drop it off at? Tune in to the next video to find out. In all honesty, I, in all seriousness, I do hope you lot enjoyed. And I hope you enjoy the next video too. Cheers. Come take a look. I'll give you a good price. I'd like to discuss a trade with Only you, Outlander. The goods here. See for yourself. Come take a look. I'll give you a good price. Oh, you'll regret not stopping when you're in the thick of it. Don't they Check out these wares. I pay well for Banuk relics, no Outlander. For